Well, so far, the Senate and the House have not yet voted on a map, and right now those maps are being discussed and voted on in committee. What I've done, I took Madison County and I put it back into the third district. This is the map that the state agencies and governmental affairs House Committee has ranked as their top map. The committee will meet tomorrow after the public has a chance to review it. This map only splits up Pulaski County. There is no split counties except that one. Everything's in whole. Representative Nelda Speaks map does not split up Sebastian County, but moves the whole county to District 4. This is something some local lawmakers are against. 20 CEOs have signed a letter. Your county, our county judge, two mayors have been down here at committee meetings and have said, we want to be in the third district. We want to remain whole. Sebastian County wants to stay together. Many people in Sebastian County want to affiliate with Northwest Arkansas, high growth, particularly high economic uh, economics um, at a faster rate than other portions. Janine Perry with the University of Arkansas says District 3, which includes Northwest Arkansas, is growing exponentially. And in order to make all four districts equal in representation, each district will have between 750,000 to 800,000 people. It's just all a a numbers game um, and then finding the right combination of people, the right combination of communities and, and counties, neighborhoods, etc. That is my motion. As for the Senate, lawmakers are still waiting to vote on a map. Today, senators debated vaccine mandate bills and bills related to COVID relief funds. Today, all the bills were referred to a committee so the public can comment and testify for or against those bills. This is controversial. Again, controversial enough, we should probably allow the public to be involved. Controversial enough that we all should have the ability to read the bills. And the extended session was supposed to last just three days, but lawmakers tell us it could extend into the weekend or next week. And as a reminder, once a bill does pass both chambers, it will then head to the governor's desk. The governor has the final decision. He can either veto it, sign it, or let it become law on its own. Reporting live in Rogers, I'm Pendle Ashman, 4029 News.